Science fiction has told us that this is roughly what the end of the world should look like. Fireballs, a flash of blinding light, interrupted cell phone connectivity, and a shockwave blast. February's meteor shower over Chelyabinsk was the largest airburst above the Earth in a century. It caused many injuries, but because it happened in a populated area where there was modern technology to document events, it was therefore also a treasure trove for scientists. The most detailed study ever of an asteroid shower has now reported its findings, and one initial conclusion is that things could have been a lot worse. The unusual thing about this asteroid was that it was very loose in nature. It was more like a clump of gravel pressed together. It was flying in space for a long time, got into the atmosphere and was split up into fragments there. This happened very high up, and most of it vaporized before it got to Earth. Less than 1% of fragments reached the Earth. Even so, 44% of buildings in Chelyabinsk had shattered glass, suspended ceilings were sucked down, there were nearly 1,700 injuries, including concussion, retinal burns, sunburn and cuts. I was thrown back by the pressure wave when trying to leave my school building and a glass door came down behind me, lodging a shard of glass into my leg. Researchers who visited 50 towns and villages to assess the damage say it shows how vulnerable we are to this threat from space. These kinds of events will continue happening. The question is how frequently and how dangerous it would be. If this meteorite were more sturdy, it could do more damage. But meteors of this size are not studied at all. We don't even have equipment for that at present. The meteor's speed has been calculated at 40,000 miles per hour. So a rock, initially the size of a double-decker bus, travelling 20 times the speed of a bullet. Scientists seem to see this as a warning shot from space. Jason Farrell, Sky News.